This is a state-of-the-art in-runner motor from about 15 years ago. A very high quality, relatively expensive. Um, but in-runners have, have, have some problems uh, with them. One of them is that they, um, they turn, the, their voltage constant, constant is high. And what that means is that they want to turn your propeller really quickly. So you have to use a very small diameter propeller, which in turn is it, it's very inefficient. So to get useful power out of an in-runner, you have to use a gearbox with it. And you know, the black part in front of the motor here is a planetary gearbox. And there's a couple of big problems with that. You know, the, the, a, a planetary, high quality planetary gearbox like this one can cost as much as the motor or more. And, and it's heavy, you know, it's got some heavy steel, you know, metal gears inside of it, so it's relatively heavy. But the, the even bigger problem is that if you crash the airplane or you have a hard landing and you bend the propeller shaft, well, you're probably going to have to replace the gearbox and, and that's a lot of money. So for, for all of those reasons, in-runners basically went out of favor. You don't really see them too much anymore. Nowadays, pretty much all you see is, is outrunners like this one. And, and outrunner, what it means is that the, you know, as the motor turns, the, the outside can turns. And that's where the magnets are. So, so by definition, outrunners are brushless which also makes make them very efficient and very low maintenance. And, you know, an outrunner has a much lower voltage constant than an in-runner, but, but I have to say an in-runner with a gearbox is gonna, is gonna be even lower. So you want maximum efficiency, I will use an in-runner with a gearbox, but because of the cost and weight penalty, pretty much everybody says, you know, outrunner is good enough uh, because they're really nice really nice feature of outrunners is that if you crash and you bend the shaft with almost all of them you can very easily replace the shaft you know a motor like this one you can buy a replacement shaft for a couple of bucks you know the motor itself might be 20 but you know for a couple of bucks you get a new shaft and of course you know the quality of all the components has gone way up anyway so the, the shafts are you know very very strong metals nowadays so you know in fact I, I don't remember the last time I bent the shaft you know, I, I, it used to happen years ago, but nowadays it's just not as much. Of course, you know, maybe my flying has gotten better. So anyway, um, I, the motors usually don't come with a connector solder, you know, like this one, which is just bare wires. Um, bullet connectors are very popular with motors because it's three of them, so you can just use a, a two, a two uh, wire connector, like, you know, the accessory for the battery. And this four millimeter, uh, bullet connectors are just really popular so you may want to get a package of them and just keep it handy because I, I, I find myself whenever I get a new motor you know it usually doesn't have any connectors so I have to solder them on and so I just buy a whole package of, of 10 bullet connectors and just use them as I need them but otherwise they're very reliable uh, very inexpensive and they're, you know they're just good enough you know the, the, they can turn a big enough prop to meet our needs and until uh, next time